we are leaving being ugly in 2023. Yeah. I would get a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I'm like, wait, I'm, I'm actually like really pretty. I went to my dermatologist and I said, fix me. Everybody asks me, how did you grow your nails? How did you grow your nails? How did you grow your nails? It's literally because of- Hello guys, welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Behja. If this is your first time seeing my face, then hey. Here on my channel, I talk a lot about mindset, glowing up mentally, glowing up from the inside out. And I think that is the best form of glowing up but while also glowing up mentally i'm really excited for today's video because we're gonna learn how to physically glow up i actually asked you guys on instagram what you guys would like to see and you guys you guys you guys were really feeling this video you guys were like physical glow up physical glow up physical glow up and i get the importance of it i've learned this year these past few years the importance of your physical appearance and so i'm just really excited to make this video today because we are leaving being ugly in 2023 yeah being pretty is a choice and i know you guys might not agree with that but give me a second to explain myself because it'll make sense if you have this nasty belief of i am ugly i'm not pretty that gotta go today you are going to embody being pretty okay we're gonna leave that idea of i am ugly behind in 2023 and once you start to embody it by telling yourself that taking action from that state of mind you are going to start to create evidence for yourself that you are pretty and your brain is going to work with you and and point out all of the things that match that intention. You're going to continue building evidence for yourself that you are pretty and then you're going to fully believe that and when you fully believe that soon enough i promise you the world starts to reflect that when you believe something about yourself the world will reflect that back to you it'll become evident in your life like literally your world the world will reflect what you believe about yourself and so this nasty belief of i am ugly this mindset of i am ugly is literally giving you results of being ugly you're going to take action from that state of point so if you're coming from this place of I am ugly, I am ugly, I am ugly, you are going to continue to act as someone who's ugly and produce results of being ugly and then continue building proof that yeah you are ugly and then you get stuck in this belief and it holds you back from opportunities it holds you back from really being the best version of yourself and of carrying yourself in a way where you feel good about yourself it really is all energy okay you can be the prettiest person in the room and still have a nasty energy that everybody's kind of like eh. if you truly believe that you are ugly the likelihood of you failing on your journey your physical glow up journey is is very likely you don't have to necessarily love everything about yourself to begin but it's really important to be able to accept it like let's say i can't think and believe that i am pretty when i am overweight however i can accept it and i can forgive myself for getting to this point right because i've always been doing the best i could with what i knew and what i had i can accept that and then now choose differently when you start to choose differently you will start to see yourself different you will start to see yourself as someone who is healthy who does work out who does all these things you will start to see yourself differently and you will start to build proof against that old belief mindset really is everything and so by choosing that you are beautiful by choosing that you are pretty by choosing that you are not ugly your brain is going to work in your favor and it is gonna help you get there it's gonna help you achieve that okay but let's get into the really fun part of this video because you are going to transform in the next six months okay so the first thing that you're going to do is set some standards for yourself and this is why earlier i said that being pretty is a choice because not everyone's going to think i'm pretty and i'm content with that and i'm okay with that not everyone's going to think that bella hadid is pretty not and i think bella hadid is really pretty so and not everybody's gonna think everybody's pretty and that is okay the beauty standard is stupid it literally changes all the time set standards for yourself based on what can i accept and what can i change that is it that's all like what can i accept about myself and what can i change i can change the way that my body looks through exercise through dieting through eating the right foods i can't change the fact that i'm black to, like let's be for real okay i can sit here and i can hate and cry about my complexion all i want however i can't change it and so i can either cry about it or i can accept it and i can move on imagine the best version of yourself what does she look like it's different for everyone everybody wants something different you really have to be genuine and ask yourself what about me do i not really like that much and it's so crazy that i'm filming this video today because last night i was just going through my instagram 
archives and I saw that I saw this like post that I posted on my close friends where my best friend sent me this thing that's like let me actually find it okay I really looked for it and I couldn't find it but it was something along the lines of that this is you because when we go out everybody just compliments you and this was like 2019 this is still when I was my heaviest this is when I started to do my makeup I started to put just like a little bit more effort into my appearance and like every time we went out I was always complimented always like I, I could be with the entire group of people and like I would always get complimented and like of course like that just kind of boosts you for just a second but deep down I never felt like I was pretty and like it just doesn't make a difference like no matter what like if people tell you you are pretty you are pretty you are so pretty you are like literally the most beautiful person I've ever like if you don't believe that and you don't see yourself as that it doesn't make a difference what other people think. It doesn't make a difference whether people think you're pretty or not. And I still took action just like from that place of not feeling pretty, not feeling beautiful. And that m led me to making poor choices in my life. And then 2021, I think it was, on my way back to Dubai, I was on the plane and I literally wrote this in my journal before that I didn't think I was pretty without makeup like that's and I'm telling you guys I'm being so over real right now I didn't think that I was pretty without makeup and this was while I was in Dubai and that was the first time that I really looked at myself because when I was there I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup it was hot like I would still wear like a decent outfit I would put on a cute abaya cute hijab and like I would get a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I'm like wait I'm, I'm actually like really pretty and that was like the first time ever that I've ever recognized that and realized that and on my way back I was like why do I hold myself back from dressing nicely or you know looking presentable or carrying myself in a way where I believe that I look pretty like what is holding me back from that I would only dress nicely if I was wearing makeup and that just made me feel shit that literally just made me feel, sh feel shit about myself and so I sat down and I wrote down here are my standards like, literally I wrote down here is what what I want to change about myself here is what I want to do so that I can finally feel good about myself so that I can finally carry myself with confidence and truly believe that I am beautiful and so that's kind of the that's the first step is really just setting that standard for yourself what do I need to feel beautiful what can I accept and what can I change if you're not willing to accept things that you cannot change about yourself then that is just on you you are going to spend the rest of your life feeling crap about yourself hating yourself base your standards off of yourself I know that when I think of my highest self and as I grow and I evolve this obviously changes I don't see myself as someone who's ever going to be overweight again. Like I cannot go back there. I know the pains of it and I know the the reward of not being overweight. You know what I mean? And so I'm never going to go back there. And I think about this a lot when I see myself right in the future. I want to have kids. I want to have a family. Like I want to be someone who's able to play with their kids, who's able to, you know, be active. If I die, like I don't want to have to die because I didn't do the best that I could with my health. And so that's just a standard that I have for myself, right? Another standard that I have for myself is um, I need clear skin and I'm willing to pour into that. I'm willing to, and you guys know, if you guys were with me and watching my vlogs, when I started my look good, feel good era, I went to my dermatologist and I said, fix me. <laughs> I said, fix me because I don't wear makeup ever really. <laughs> only like when I'm filming going out, that's the only time I really do wear makeup. But majority of my life, I am not wearing makeup because of prayer and I don't like that is my number one priority. My life literally revolves around that. So I'm not going to risk it. So a standard that I have for myself is having good skin, having clear skin. For me, that means staying away from dairy. To me, that means drinking a lot of water. To me, that means going to the dermatologist, getting facials if I need to. That is something that I'm willing to pour into because it makes me feel good about myself. It makes me happy. It makes me carry myself with confidence even when I'm not wearing makeup, which is like literally majority of the time. So what are you willing to accept? What are you willing to not accept and change? And it's okay to want to change. Like nobody's gonna beat me up for saying that I don't want to be overweight. I'm not saying that it has to be that way for you. That is how it is for me. And you need to be that real with yourself and that raw with yourself to really figure out what do I need to do for myself during my glow up journey. And then you can personalize your own journey for yourself to get to that point. Now let's get into the tips that I have for you guys. Things that I've learned along my journey in my look good, feel good era that I want to now pass on to you guys. Let's start with a body and health. The first tip that I would give you guys is go visit your doctor. Get a get your blood panel done, okay? Get your blood drawn, see what where you're deficient in, see what the heck is going on inside of your body. 
I had H. pylori and I had no idea and I was just a mess. My skin was all over the place. My hormones were also for girls. This is for my girlies because sometimes you could be doing all the right things, but then because you're deficient in one thing or because of some sort of issue in your body, you are not seeing the results that you want to see. And so go to your doctor. When it comes to workout and movements, move your body every single day. Every single day. Personally, I work from home. I do a lot of my work sitting and it pains me. A lot of us, we're sitting all the time. We go to school or we go to work. We spend majority of the time sitting and then we come home. We sit some more. We get in our couch. We sleep. Like, our body is not moving as much as it needs. Make it a priority to move your body every single day, unless you have a job where like you're extremely active, where you're on your feet all day, where you're walking around, where you're doing all this activity. But for a lot of us now, where we work from home, we work from our computers, we're sitting all day, get some movement in, even if it's just going on a walk. I just love walking. I was I would go on hot girl walks all the time, but now that it's colder and I live in the Midwest, like it's hard to go on walks. So I literally prioritize my walking when I go to the gym. I will go to the gym and I will walk for 30 to 60 minutes every single day. And then on top of that, do my workout. I'm a gym girly, okay? Let me make my tips clear. Make it a priority to move your body every single day. 10k steps a day make that a goal of yours make that a priority like if there's anything that you do just 10k steps a day another thing that i would highly 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 recommend to you guys and suggest to you guys is training okay lifting weights i think this is the best thing that you could do for your body like it's, it just makes you look so good, so toned. You feel stronger. You have more energy. Like, it is literally the best thing ever. I love lifting. I love training. It is my thing. I go to the gym and I lift weights five to six times a week. Is it five to six? No, I have one day off, another day off. Five times a week. Five times a week. All of us have different goals. All of us have different priorities. But training, I think, is just like, it's just so good for everyone. And it'll help you so much when you're 40, 50, 60. I think about that a lot. I think about my future self a lot. When I'm older, a lot. When I have kids, a lot. Like, I want to be healthy. I want to be active. I want my joints to not hurt. Like, I think about her a lot. If you don't enjoy it, that is okay. I'm not going to sit here and say, you have to do training. Like, it is the only way to know. Like, if you do Pilates, I love Pilates. I think you you use muscles that you didn't even know you had in Pilates. So it is really good for your muscles. It's just so good. So if you don't enjoy training, maybe you enjoy Pilates. Maybe you enjoy taking classes, like workout classes, whatever it is, just like getting yourself in to move. And another like little tip that I have for you guys is having a hobby that keeps you active, whether that is pickleball or rollerblading or ice skating or bas playing basketball or tennis or I don't know, bowling something something to keep you active something to keep you moving just move your body our bodies are made to move they are not made to be couch potatoes last but not least is getting your sleep okay seven to eight hours i don't play about my sleep it just helps me so much to get through the day to show up as my best self like it really really helps the goal with your body and movement is really just to be intentional about moving your body every single day have i moved enough today no get up and go for a walk go up and down the stairs, clean your house, like something to just keep you active, something to keep you moving. Not only will it make you physically look good, but then it's also so good for your mental health and your overall well-being. Let's talk a little bit about diet or just like how to eat. I think we've lost the plot so hard when it comes to eating and I've recently rediscovered the plot. I really want to put you guys on. I think gut health has been something that has been extremely important to me this year. It is a journey that I'm still on and it is something that is on the top of my mind all the time. Like going into 2024, I really am thinking about my gut health. It is something that I'm willing to pour so much time, effort, and energy into because I understand the impact that it has. I understand the pains of having bad gut health, brain fog, being tired and fatigue and I thought I was just being lazy whole time I had gut health issues hormonal imbalances that causes really awful periods and really bad breakouts you guys literally like let me put what my skin looked like when I found out 
that I just had awful gut health and then what it looks like now. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I really, really, really am. Your gut is not only your second brain, but it, it just has, excuse me, gut health is just like the most important thing ever. Like I said, I'm still on my journey, but it has transformed my life so much so far. Some things that have really helped me on my gut healing journey so far is prioritizing probiotics. I take probiotic supplements, but then I also really love this yogurt because I can't have regular dairy. I just have this plant-based one that can contains probiotics. I also really love having apple cider vinegar in the morning on an empty stomach. Fermented foods is amazing for the gut because I don't really like it. I usually drink kombucha as often as I can and I really enjoy it. Another thing that has really helped me is adding a lot of cinnamon to my matcha in the morning. Cinnamon contains anti-inflammatory properties which helps restore the gut. I also love having more teas and matchas rather than coffee. This is what you're going to do if you want to physically glow up when it comes to eating and your diet. Number one is focus on nutrients dense and like good quality food. And that means less ultra processed foods and processed foods. So things like chips, candy, cookies, protein bars, all of that stuff. Like we want to have less of that and more of whole foods. I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't have processed foods. Like I literally had a Cinnabon cinnamon roll last night, half of it, but it's just like being really intentional with what you eat. I make sure to eat full meals. Okay. So my vegetables, my grains, my fats, my protein, and then like, just like have things throughout the week but I know that having a cinnamon roll every single day that just will not serve me like I'm not an idiot okay like I I know better than to think that I can eat like that every single day and see the progress that I want to see or have the body that I want to have like it's just being really intentional and then having you know seasons or months where I really focus on my gut health and I reset my gut and clean cleanse my gut by cutting out processed foods in general like all of it cold turkey but like i'm just like more intentional about that like how do i feel what do i need for myself this month what do i need for myself next month what do i need for myself this week like it's just different for everybody but then being really really intentional and i highly suggest that every single one of you guys learn what ultra processed foods does to your stomach i highly recommend the book called the ultra mind solution by dr mark hyman he also has a podcast as well like literally just educate yourself on what it does to you and you will never want to have ultra processed foods again eating more whole foods snacking on nuts and fruit vegetables that is how i eat most of the time most of the time and then special occasions like i will go out i will have stadium chicken tenders like i will do that but then i know that i need to eat mainly healthy and whole foods to be healthy and whole and when i envision the highest version of myself she will go out and she will have her ice cream she will go out with her families and her friends and order the chips and queso you know what i mean but then she will come back home and eat whole foods she will come back home and prioritize vegetables she will eat a salad first so if you want to go cold turkey go cold turkey i just don't think that that's really realistic to me if i can't do it for the next 40 years it's just not gonna work so when you are creating your routines and stuff ask yourself like is this going to work for me 30 years down the road 40 years down the road like is it going to work is this sustainable is this realistic two little tips that i have for you guys and i kind of mentioned this but number one is just having more protein in your diet and then another little hack is having your vegetables before you have anything else so let's say you're eating your meal and you have your vegetables Eat your vegetables first and then eat everything else. Like, I swear it does something, okay? Okay, next thing is supplements. I think if there's any supplements that I would recommend for everybody to take, number one, it's omega-3 fish oil. Another one, D, vitamin D and vitamin K. If you take them together, it just like works better. Vitamin B12, vitamin B B6, magnesium. I think that those have probably done the most for my health than anything else. Um, and then me personally, something that has been really helping me lately is lion's mane. You guys can definitely look into what that does, but it really helps with energy, focus. When I, when I started taking a lion's mane, it really, really helped my focus be better. So I just perform better throughout my day, but definitely look into that. Once you visit your doctor and you see what you're deficient in, make sure that you're taking supplements for that. Take your daily supplements. It does wonders for you okay it literally does wonders for you those are some of the vitamins that i take 
every single day yeah supplements are really just like boosters i'm not saying that if you take your supplements you don't have to eat your vegetables eat your vegetables first and then take your supplements okay <laughs> and then last but not least is stay hydrated you guys i feel so stupid when i'm not hydrated like i actually do not feel like myself my head hurts i feel really low in energy drink your water your skin is going to thank you your skin is going to grow you're gonna glow you're going to have so much energy i suggest that you guys get a cute little water bottle for yourself i will have about like three of these maybe more a day and so that's a lot of water and so getting yourself a water bottle taking it with taking it with you everywhere you go it just helps a lot when it comes to tracking your water so yeah when it comes to diet is this sustainable for me is this gonna work for me 40 years down the road is this something that i can stick to and do for a long time like the next section is about cycle syncing and this is for the girls cycle syncing has changed my life it has changed everything for me i I'm really embarrassed to say that I had no idea about anything period related until earlier this year. Like, all I knew is, you know, you get your period. That's it. That's all. But learning about it has changed everything for me. I cherish being a woman so much. And so understanding how my body works as a woman has helped me so much. Not even just cycle syncing food, cycle syncing workouts, but just cycle syncing my entire lifestyle. I have learned how to work with my body instead of working against my body. I'm not going to go through all the stages of our cycle and all that, but just as an example, when I'm on my menstrual cycle, my nutrition, my exercise, my work, my lifestyle is completely different than when I'm in my follicular phase. When it comes to nutrition, I eat based on my cycle. Not all the time. I'm not like extremely particular about it. And a book that I recommend is In the Flow. It kind of goes through like the foods that you should eat. I'm a little bit conscious of that throughout my cycle and so like when i know i'm on my period i'm not hungry i don't want any food but i know that i have to eat and i know that eating foods that are high in iron is better for me and so i'm just a little bit conscious of that and then i know that two weeks before my period i'm really hungry my stomach is bottomless when it comes to two weeks before my period like i will eat anything in sight and that is just normal but having the goals that i have and knowing that i can shift my lifestyle to nurture myself but also keep my life keep my stuff together working out i do not do my regular workout routine when i'm on my period i do not lift i do not weight train or i don't do any like types of hit workouts i don't do like the stairmaster because number one i don't have have any energy in me two i'm like not feeling it i'm the last thing that i want to do is go to the gym and work out but i also know that it helps me a lot so what i do around that time is low impact movement so i'll do like pilates yoga and then walking on the treadmill that is it that is all that i do on my period i don't push myself i don't go over the limits i don't do any of that i just kind of take that time to rest and relax and when i'm working like i know that i'm not going to produce my best work i know that i get really tired and i know that i won't have a lot of energy in me and so i spend the morning doing the most important work and not pushing myself to do any of the extra things after that and so i really do take it easy on myself when i'm on my period whereas before i would force myself to go to the gym to do the workout to you know lift heavy and i just didn't know like I I was unaware and I was working against my body and putting myself through hell even like sleeping in like when I'm on my menstrual cycle I let myself sleep until like seven seven is like the latest for me so yeah I won't go through all of the cycle I mean I won't go through all of the stages in this video um but I'm gonna link the TED talk that changed my life when it comes to cycle syncing for you guys in the description is very informative very helpful and then you guys should definitely check out the book in the flow and figure out how you can change your lifestyle figure out what you can do to make it easier for yourself depending on what your lifestyle looks like depending on what your days look like because it's not going to be the same as mine the next section of this video is hygiene cleanliness is everything having clean hair clean nails clean skin clean everything like you need to make sure that you are clean my next tip to glow up physically is have a hygiene routine for everything. We're going to start with body hygiene. Making sure you shower every single day. 
like every single day and then while you're in the shower you can kind of knock out all of the other hygiene things so cleaning behind your ear belly button um the back of your neck in between your toes under your nails everything just making sure everything is well cleansed just make sure that you guys clean everything well because i swear if you don't it's going to have a stench no matter how much perfume you put on no matter how much deodorant you put on that stench that underlying stench is always going to overpower anything that you put on so you want to clean everything every single day next is oral hygiene i think we're a little bit too old to still be being told to still be being told to floss brush your teeth and then another thing that i would highly recommend is tongue scraping like it'll literally change your life it helps with your brain health your gut health everything which is so crazy the fact that your gums is connected to your gut health and your brain health is just mind-boggling and so making sure you floss there is stuff stuck in between your teeth so whether you use regular floss or water floss make sure you floss your teeth okay having hot breath and being dumb is a crazy combo so take care of your oral hygiene for the sake of your brain okay something that i recently added into my hygiene routine is teeth whitening strips i use this one and i've only done it a few times but i did not expect it to work as well as it did i highly recommend it teeth make such a huge difference in your appearance and just to be more transparent i had a gap and when i was in turkey in 2021 i took my chance and got it filled and so it definitely is one of those things that i decided to change Number two is nail hygiene. If you like to grow out your nails long, mine are quite short now. Um, this one broke, so, so it looks kind of ugly, but she's growing back. Um, if you have long nails, which my nails started growing really, really fast and really, really strong this year after having brittle short nails that break every single second my entire life because of my change in diet. So because of you know balancing your hormones and having good gut health, my nails started to grow a lot faster, a lot stronger. Everybody asks me, how did you grow your nails? How did you grow your nails? How did you grow your nails? It's literally because of the foods that I eat. It's literally because of my diet, nothing else. If you keep your nails a little bit longer or if you get them done and you get them long, which if you're Muslim and you're watching this and you're like, oh, it's haram to keep long nails, I get it. But not everybody who watches this practices that. So I'm just talking about nail hygiene, okay? Make sure you have a nail brush. You know the ones that they give you when you go get your nails done at the salon? Have a nail brush and clean under your nail, okay? Clean under your nail because food gets stuck in there. It's just disgusting under there if you don't really take care of it. If you can't handle that, just keep them short. Next is bathroom hygiene and I cannot believe that i'm saying this once you use the bathroom whether you do number one number two you need to use water it is very important to clean like but I, toilet paper is just not enough use water you don't even have to have like a bidet just have a water bottle or you guys know the the gardening water thing get yourself one of those and just clean under there after you use the bathroom then use the toilet paper like yeah for my girlies when you are on your period change your pad and your tampon frequency frequently okay like i know it says it lasts like 8 to 12 hours on the packaging but really just stay intentional clean yourself make sure that you feel fresh and clean because it's not even necessarily about stinking because you will stink like if you don't wash yourself properly and you don't stay on top of your hygiene you will stink but it just makes you feel icky. Next is home hygiene. Again, no matter how much perfume you spray, no matter how much deodorant you spray, you are always going to smell like what your space smells like. And so if you're not taking care of your space, keeping it clean, keeping it tidy, opening up a window when you cook food, like you don't want your house to just smell like the food that you make. You know what I mean? Like crack open a window, light a candle, burn some oud, do something to keep your space clean. Wipe down your floors, wipe down, like literally, like it shows and it, no matter how much stuff you spray on yourself, you are always going to smell like what your house smells like. A little hack for me to you is instead of saving all of your cleaning for one day, so like instead of saving all your cleaning for Sunday reset, clean a little bit every single day. I have wood floors and you guys know if you guys watch my vlogs, I have to clean damn near every single day because the floor gets dusty, the bottom of your foot gets like icky. If you have carpets, clean them often carpets are meant to be clean like you have to clean the carpet and they're meant to be replaced as well if it needs to be replaced 
replace the carpet okay and then last but not least when it comes to hygiene is just having a hygiene bag so if you go to school if you go to work if you go anywhere like just have a bag that you carry things like pads tampon deodorant hand lotion mints wipes tide pen like all the things that hand sanitizer lip gloss all the things that you need to feel put together when you go out when you show yourself that you are taking care of yourself that says something that tells you i am someone who takes care of themselves and you're just gonna have higher standards you're not going to just be and do anything and be anywhere and you know you will start to level up everything is going to change when you become someone who takes care of themselves okay let's go into skincare of course what you put on your skin is important but i think the main thing when it comes to skincare is your diet how you eat it really shows on your face it really really shows on your face and just like your overall well-being of your hormones like your if you have imbalanced hormones your skin is going to show that you know what i mean and so the main thing is just taking care of your diet taking care of your body and then your skin will reflect that so my tip to you is really just putting your emphasis on that but getting into skincare it is so important to have a skincare routine you really don't have to spend so much money going to sephora to buy a bunch of things all you really need is a cleanser a toner a moisturizer and some sunscreen you can even take out the toner but really the basics of your skincare is just making sure your skin is clean and then putting moisturizer in it, moisturizer on it and then sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun but for a little extra skincare and a little extra love for your skin that will help you on your glow up journey i highly suggest double cleansing after the end of the day or even if you have makeup on or you're taking your makeup off double cleanse start with the oil cleanser and then go into your regular gentle cleanser just make sure that it is clean because the ick and the guck on your face is going to break you out it really will another thing i suggest is exfoliation and then toners what toner does is after washing your after washing your face it rehydrates your face so that it can soak up moisture better so anything that you put on after your skin will soak it up better so that's why i love a good toner there's so many different types of toners i'm not going to tell you guys exactly which one to get because all of our skins are different so just figure out which one works for you but toners are just amazing another thing for a little bit of you know more glow is like serums vitamin c being my favorite and then like a hyaluronic acid serum extra moisture extra glow face masks i think it just something about it just feels so good like just that extra self-care it's not necessary to do a face mask all the time but just like that extra self-care it just hits it just hits different doing derma planning on your face is really really helpful and it makes your skin more glowy and you'll just look so much different having different routines you don't have to do every single thing every single day but it's like you know maybe on sundays you want to take a little bit more extra care of yourself so that's when you do your hair care your full body shower you shave you do everything you moisturize you put on a face mask you don't have to do that every single day like we're busy we have things to do sometimes it's like all i'm gonna do be able to do is my am and my pm skincare period so just having a solid routine for yourself is really really important next is body care we talked about showering every single day which you definitely should be doing but here are some things that you should do daily to just have that like glow up that glow up i think a lot of these things right because as a modest girly nobody's gonna know if my legs are shaved it doesn't necessarily matter but it does something for you like when you take care of yourself and you show up for yourself you embody a different energy you become more confident like you know what you're capable of when you start to show yourself that evidence of i am capable i am able to do this that just changes everything for you it's not about being attractive it's not about getting attention it's not about people thinking you're pretty it is not about any of that none of this is for anyone but yourself body care <laughs> i just went on a little tangent but body care daily showers exfoliation right or just like when you're in the shower i don't think loofahs are enough i think loofahs are trash get yourself one of those like exfoliating cloths or the gloves and then shaving i don't like waxing i don't i can't do it and so i literally shave my armpits every single day but not every single day but every like few days and then all you really need is a good body butter deodorant and some perfume it's really those simple things shower every day a good bar soap it's like 99 cents a body butter nice little body lotion whatever deodorant a little bit of perfume that's like my everyday shower and like body care like 
it's not that you have to do the absolute most every single day if you're not already doing that get to it get to it but then for a little bit of extra self-love and glow here are some tips to really push that glow up when you're in the shower use a bar soap number one i just use a white dove body soap a shower gel or a shower oil after that okay you definitely can just use one you don't need them all but it just makes me feel good it smells good it's just chef's kiss body exfoliating scrubs i use the i'll put the brand on the screen but that really helps with like strawberry leg vitamin e oil while you're in the shower this is just chef's kiss i have like the trader joe's one while you're in the shower your body's still damp just put vitamin e oil all over yourself the best body butter let me put you guys on right now while i'm here lush i'm like blinking on the names right now i forgot what it's called but i'm put it on the screen it is the best ever i absolutely love it it doesn't have like a scent but i love that and then after that like a body mist oh so good you guys it just makes me feel so good okay a little body mist and then just having a signature perfume having a perfume that you love you guys that's that's like my um ideal self self-care night like when i have a long day or i feel just like I need to unwind like that is my go-to like I will do all of that put on a nice pajama set and that's another thing get yourself a really nice pajama set it really does change a lot for you it changes the way that you view yourself and it's so weird it's so weird but when you put on a nice matching pajama set my favorite is skims love her but having a matching set and not looking bummy even when you're at home nobody can see you makes a difference in your life and how you view yourself next is hand and nail care like you guys it's so weird because it really does make a difference in how you carry yourself like my nails are short right now they're this little square i love a good almond shape it looks so good on my hands i could put my jewelry on and just feel good about myself if you like to get your nails done get your nails done if you're a muslim girly do not compromise your prayer okay i love you paint them if you like like when you're on your period for my muslim girlies paint them and then apply hand lotion every single time you wash your hands i have hand lotion on my desk i have hand lotion in my bathroom we have hand lotion in the kitchen next to the sink i have it in my purse also another little tip if you wash dishes or you do a lot of water like you do a lot of work with water in your hands wear gloves it'll destroy your nails wear gloves listen to me wear gloves when you're doing any type of cleaning around the house wear gloves okay hair this is something that i'm still working on and i feel like i can't sit here and 100 give you guys everything because your girl is figuring out 2024 is my year where i'm really 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 trying to elevate my hair care and it's not necessarily because you know nobody can see my hair majority of the time other than my family like it is so important to me and because i had like gut issues i dealt with like some hair loss and stuff um but my hair has grown a lot because of my diet like i can see the length but then now i'm like okay i want my hair to be more fuller so that's something that i'm definitely going to be working on in 2024 but have a solid hair care routine i take care of my hair every single day at least once like put some product in it or something i love to braid my hair um when I'm going to sleep, put it in twists, anything. Protective styles, like getting braids done, I love, I love. If you're a non-hijabi or a non-Muslim, it makes such a difference in your appearance. I know this because I wasn't a hijabi until two years ago. So I'm telling you guys from experience, hair makes such a difference in your appearance. When your hair looks good, like it doesn't even matter if you put it in a like style or whatever. If your hair looks good and it looks healthy, it makes a huge difference in the way that you look. Oh my goodness, like it makes such a huge difference. Hair makes you look so much better. For my hijabi girlies, find a hijab style that, that fits you. Find a hijab style that fits you. Figure out what hijab colors look good on you. Try different styles, try different colors something's gonna something's gonna work i have my go-to's just figure out what works for you hair or hijab whichever one also for my not or for my hijabis when you're at home do a cute little hairstyle do it for yourself you're gonna feel like that girl okay next is fashion this is something that i really 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 was pushing myself to the way that i dress makes such a difference in my mood and how i carry myself and how i feel and so i just take it upon myself to put on a decent outfit when i go out it makes a difference an outfit can really make you feel so much better find your personal style this is something that i'm still working on you guys i'm 
I think my personal style is your girl can't stick to aesthetic. I just can't. But this is definitely something that I'm still working on as well and building my wardrobe, figuring out what I like, figuring out what I don't like, but really just figure that out for you. An outfit can make such a difference. Figure out what works on your body type, figure out what works on your skin tone. All of this might feel like a lot, like this is exactly what you need to glow up. No, 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 no. Pick one thing and go one step at a time. No need to rush. It's like learning to fly <laughs> or falling in love. Another thing is lounge wear. Get yourself some cute clothes to wear at home. Doing these things has such a huge impact on your self-image and you guys know how much that means when it comes to the way that you show up in the world and the things that you receive. Like I told you guys, the world is always gonna reflect back to you what you believe to be true about yourself, okay? And so having a strong self-image, when you take care of yourself and you have you know, nice loungewear and you put on a nice outfit, you put on some jewelry, you put on whatever it is, like the way that you view yourself is I am someone who takes care of themselves. I am someone who shows up for themselves. I am someone who cares about themselves the world is going to reflect that back to you literally every single time people are going to treat you better people are going to talk to you better you're going to have better experiences you're going to say yes to opportunities you're going to be more confident you're going to carry yourself better like it has such a beautiful impact on your life environment when it comes to your environment invest a little bit into making your space feel better it doesn't have to necessarily be like changing out the furniture and all the decorations and stuff, just keeping it clean, have th some certain things that make you feel good. It really has a huge effect on just your health in general as well, like your mental health. When you have a space in a home where you feel safe in, that feels like you, that feels like home. You know what I mean? Like it makes such a huge difference. And not everyone has the luxury to do that. So if you have the luxury to be able to do that, do that for yourself. Next thing is lifestyle. Routines are everything. Build a routine that makes you feel good. You're gonna have to trial and error it, okay? Maybe you're not a morning person. Maybe you're a night owl. Whatever it is, like just make a routine that makes you feel good. Do things that you enjoy. Do things that make you feel good weekly basis pick one day where you just do something for yourself pick one day where you do something that you enjoy to do maybe it's a book club like just do something nice for yourself go to a coffee shop something that you enjoy something that makes you happy build a lifestyle that makes you feel like the best version of yourself build a routine a morning routine an evening routine a school routine a night routine that makes you feel like the best version of yourself last but not least and i'm <laughs> this is so funny but your swag this is where you tap into your authenticity forget what everybody else likes forget what style everybody, forget what's trending forget the things that what makes sense to you what are you drawn to focus on that what are you drawn to how do you want to dress why are you drawn to a certain influencer like what is it about them what what about their outfits do you like and how can you incorporate that and put your own spin on it having your own signature scent you know what is your thing that makes you you like i genuinely do not care about what's trending sometimes i do like a trend sometimes i do like something that is trending but I have to be real with myself and really ask myself, do I like this? A lot of times people just do things because other people are doing it. What is popping now? Oh, I want to do that. Figure yourself out, okay? Stay true to yourself. Stay authentic. What makes sense to you? Even if it's not trendy, like you can tell when someone is wearing an outfit that they really love, even if it's not even if it doesn't make sense to everybody else. What is your aesthetic? What is your vibe? And so really figure out how you can personalize things, okay? That is what your journey is all about. It is not about doing things because other people are doing it, because it's popular, because it's popping. That is not sustainable for you. Do what feels right to you, what feels good to you. Set your own standards and then meet them. Set your own standards and then take action that is aligned with them. If you can as accept something then you can accept it if you cannot accept something like me like i can't accept being overweight again and that might change later on in the future which y'all up like please so i have to take action that is aligned with that forget about the beauty standard forget about other people's standards what people expect from you nobody is truly gonna care other than you and so it doesn't really matter what people say to you it doesn't really matter whether people like you or not like your vibe or not like your aesthetic or not whether people like what you choose to 
to do or not if it feels right to you and you genuinely truly and i mean truly okay i'm not talking about just oh i think i like this truly does this make sense to you and you can figure out if it truly does make sense to you by asking yourself why why does this make sense to me ask yourself these questions build your own awareness and then create standards for yourself and meet them your self-image is the most important thing to you and you should cherish it doing everything is going to be extremely overwhelming and i talked about this when i started my look good feel good era when i made the promise to myself that i was going to do everything to look my best so i can feel my best it was because i wasn't really feeling myself i was like okay i'm not really feeling this i'm not feeling myself but every month i stuck to one thing one month can be all about nutrition the next month can be all about hair care like literally what makes sense to you what is going to change your life for the better right now and just focus on that one thing. You don't have to change everything all at once. You don't have to focus on everything all at once. You're gonna get lost. Pick one thing and focus on it for a month, two months, three months, four months, or even a year. This is not a race. I'm still working on myself. I'm still working on bettering myself. Just choose one place every single month for the next six months and everything's gonna change. Nothing is gonna be the same. The key to all of this is consistency. So that's why I'm telling you guys, be realistic and do stuff that is sustainable to you. And so, yeah, I really, really hope that this video was helpful. I'm so excited for 2024. I'm so excited to go hard and really just continue sharing my journey with you guys. I wish you guys the best of luck on all of your journeys on all of your endeavors i love you so much and i hope to see you next time if you guys need help with organizing your journey if you guys need help planning everything out figuring out what you're going to do every single month then you guys should definitely check out my notion template that is linked in the bio it will help you break down your reasoning to doing everything what you want to do how you want to do it really just get your journey together and really have a plan to move forward it can be extremely overwhelming to have so many areas of your life that you want to work on but the notion template kind of helps you break that down so definitely check it out i made it for you guys and I really hope you guys love it.